Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used with the original carrier or network, and they have to undergo, undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or a different network. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy Tab E that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S. And this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked. Because as we can see here, we have a non-T-Mobile SIM card inserted and it is telling us that it's an invalid SIM card and that it's network locked. And then if we swipe away the lock screen there, we can also see how it is asking us for the network unlock code in order to SIM unlock it. And T-Mobile will do this SIM unlock for you and give you the code, but like pretty much all carriers, they have a lot of requirements that have to be met. So you have to be the original owner and the device has to be active with them for a certain amount of time and you have to have no bills or pass due balances and all these other things. And so we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from T-Mobile before meeting all of T-Mobile's requirements to do the unlock for them, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was still SIM locked. The seller would claim that it's already unlocked or that it's already eligible for unlock through T-Mobile, that they just have to contact them for the code, et cetera, et cetera. And then after the purchase was completed, the buyer discovered that wasn't actually true. The device was still SIM locked to T-Mobile. It wasn't eligible. And the seller had usually disappeared and blocked their number because it's a big scam that happens all the time these days. There's also a lot of websites and companies and individuals and businesses who uh, claim to be able to get you the unlock code through various means if you pay them a fee and then wait. But that waiting period is usually two or three business days. And so people have been looking for a way to be able to do it a lot faster. So we're actually making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to do a SIM unlock to this device without having to go directly through T-Mobile and meet their requirements or pay some random website and wait days for a code to come. It's actually something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect to your computer right through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here, right now. So actually, as I was speaking, we were running our unlock program that does the SIM unlock for us. And now that the device has been restarted, we will be able to notice that we no longer have that message on the lock screen saying that it's an invalid SIM card. And then if we swipe that notification panel away, we can see that it is no longer asking for the SIM unlock code. So that is the indication that the device has been fully SIM unlocked. Now we ourselves don't have an active SIM card set up with a tablet plan, so we can't actually get uh, make the tablet show signal and service and data and all of that. But those messages being gone are your visual proof and indication that the device has been SIM unlocked and is now compatible with all other GSM carriers, uh, since uh, T-Mobile is a GSM network after all. So if you have one of these tab E's that needs to be SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put all of the details in a slide here at the end of the video. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.